Hello there, another new episode on Terraform. Today we are going to talk about Terraform workspaces. What is Terraform workspace? Think it as different environments for your application. You need separate deployments, but they are similar in nature. We can use same set of project codes with different variable files for different environments. Your project code will work as a template for all environments. We just need to pass different values or different variable files for different environments. Let me just give you an abstract illustration of it. Now, as I told you, think your project code as templates. So here I have drawn three glasses, so basically similar glasses and think it as template for your projects for different environments. Maybe first one is for dev, second one is for QA or maybe last one is for your prod. So the first class can contain water in it. Maybe second class can contain alcohol in it and third glass can contain maybe some other thing like oil. This is just an abstract illustration I told you. So all these elements are your different environment and they are different from each other, but they are similar in nature. That means they all are liquid, but in different forms. Okay, by saying that, let's get started with actual demonstration where we deploy our resources in different environments using same project codes and let's see how it looks like. So basically, we'll be reusing the old module from episode 7 and the same project code, but here we will be using Terraform workspaces. Basically, I've opened PowerShell on the path where my episode 8 project codes are located. Let me just ls and these are my project codes and let me just show you in VS code how it looks like. If you remember our last episode, we talked about Terraform backend and remote backend, all of those things. Similar thing here, I do have the main. In earlier episode, I hard coded the values, bucket name and bucket location. Here, I will be using variable files. So I've defined where's which I need on the project and output of it. And if you remember our earlier episode, episode number seven, we already talked about the modules. This is the same module bucket. It is creating Google storage bucket or GCS bucket. And you know, this is output for the module, which is GCS or bucket name. And this is your variable, which requires bucket name and bucket location whenever you call the module. Okay, that's it. So I'm on the same path. If I enter Terraform workspace list, Oh, my init has not worked yet. So let me do Terraform init and it will give an error. Basically, it needs credential to use the existing backend or remote backend. So I need to provide that. Let me just paste it here. Should be good now. I can init it. It has initialized. Let me now enter Terraform workspace list. This command will show what are the workspaces created for you. By default, if you do not create any workspace in your environment, the default workspace will always be created and this is your environment. That means it will create on state file, which is something called default.tf state. If I head back to my earlier bucket where I'm storing all the state files and inside Terraform, let me go to state inside state. You see default.tf state is there. Now let me create on one environment or workspace for now. For example, first I want to try out my application or resources in dev environment. How do I create a new workspace? That's Terraform workspace new and any name for that. So I'm giving dev. Now dev has been created. If I put list again, dev has been selected with a star mark and default is there obviously. And if I do anything, maybe Terraform plan. So I'm giving a variable file here. I have created three different folders inside the same directory where my Terraform codes are located. And in dev, I'm just passing bucket name and bucket location. So I've created some unique name for dev, maybe thus learning dev, something like that. And similarly in prod, you'll see it will change to prod. So before that, let me just take this dev.tf verse. So this is another way. If you do not have the default TF verse created in the direct in the directory where your Terraform codes are located, you can specify any path for that matter. And that should be dev.tf verse. And let me check it. Indeed, it is going to create the dev bucket for that matter using the same module. And let me put Terraform apply. So if you do not specify the var file because default var file is not located in the directory. So I need to pass all the values. Let me just close it out. It will give an error. And I can put var hyphen file where my dev verse is located. So I'm creating for dev because I'm into dev workspace now. It has started creating the bucket now and it's complete. Let me go back to my bucket lists and it should, yeah, it's there. Let me clear my screen 
what happens if I take another variable file and try to check the plan now. So maybe instead of dev.tfverse, let me take uat, uat.tfverse. So in uat, if you remember, I do have different value other than this dev one. If I go to uat and check the uat.tfverse, it has some other value. You see, it is going to add one and going to destroy one. So how it is creating, it is taking the old one, it will be deleted and it is going to create a new one called uat. That's not expected, right? If you are in a workspace, be it in default, if you do not create any workspace, if you change your variable or maybe values for any resource and that resource might get recreated. So how do I manage this? I do not want to change any code in my in my module or maybe project code. So this is where Terraform workspaces come into picture. In my main.tf of the project code, it is just taking some values. You can provide any value. So let me create a new workspace now. Before that, let me just show you that Terraform TF state file, how it looks like now, once the dev is deployed. Indeed, you see, default.tf state was there, which was default, and now dev.tf state has been created. So basically, Terraform creates different TF state files for different workspaces. So before that, Terraform workspace, if I spell it right, list, or maybe show this time, and it will show you which workspace I'm into and let me create a new one command is terraform workspace new and maybe uat for this time and uat has been created if you put again terraform workspace show and it will show you uat now if i take that same command terraform plan var file and my uat tf words yep so this time there is no destroy because terraform tf states are different for different workspaces we can use different values and the same project code can be ran over and over. I can provide apply. And this time maybe I'll give a yes to the prompt. Yes, bucket is created. Let me check in the bucket lists. And I think I need to refresh. Yep, UAT is created. And there is no change on existing one. So your two different environments has been created now. You can create any resource using Terraform. That depends upon you. And let me go and create a prod one now. And Terraform workspace. So now I'm into UAT. Clear screen. And maybe this time Terraform workspace prod or something, any name. And prod has been created. Terraform workspace. So now I am into prod. That's good. And let me put and maybe plan with a prod file now. This is my prod tf verse. And let me check what is the value in prod. So if I open this file into prod and this is saying I need to create another bucket with prod, that should be good. This time also, it is going to create one, nothing to destroy. And this is my bucket name. That's fine. Terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve hyphen where hyphen file. And where is my path? That's prod and prod.tavers. It has started creating the bucket and it's complete. Let me head over to this one. Refresh the bucket list and prod is not created. How do I reverse the effect? That means how do I destroy it now? If I put, let me put terraform workspace show or maybe list. Indeed, my prod is selected with a star mark. And if I put terraform destroy, let me see what happens. And it is asking me, you need to provide the value. That means bucket location, bucket name it will ask. Let me break out of this window, clear my screen, terraform destroy. This time also I need to provide the variable file. So that's where file and I'm into prod. Now I need to get prod prod tables. This is already in my git repo. You can clone it and you can try it out. And you see now it is going to destroy one resource and go ahead. Yes, hidden a resource has been deleted for prod. Let me go back to this. My prod bucket has been deleted. That's fine. Still I'm into prod workspace. If I put maybe Terraform destroy with another var file, what will happen? This is an experiment. We can do anything. So while working in a real environment, we should be extra cautious. We need to be sure which workspace I am into and which file I'm going to provide and all of those things. Destroy complete. So basically there was nothing, you see. Okay, let me switch to another workspace. So we have created every time with new command. How do I switch to another Terraform workspace? Terraform workspace list. I'm into prod now. To select, we have to put Terraform workspace select maybe UAT this time. Yeah, switch to UAT. If you put list again, 
you'll see the star mark change to UAT that's fine clear my screen and if I want to destroy it now and I'm giving the UAT TF words for the UAT workspace that should be fine so my UAT bucket will be deleted that's fine yes destroy is complete let me hit refresh UAT is gone now similarly I can select the dev one not the list select dev switch to dev that's fine and where file that should be dev 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 verse so basically this is it you create a terraform workspace using terraform workspace new and any name you select it using terraform workspace select that name terraform workspace list to list all your workspaces and the current one will be denoted with star and if you go to any terraform workspace if you do terraform plan apply and destroy that will be applicable only for that workspace that will not impact any other workspace if you do not change to that workspace so let me put yes to this destroy command yes let me go back hit refresh yeah that's gone and let me just check what's there in the tf state now indeed the tf state files will be there will all the latest update that means everything should be deleted but as long as your workspace is there that means you have not deleted i think let me delete one that's that's also makes sense maybe i do not want dave now maybe so terraform workspace delete dev so dev is basically your active workspace this can also happen where is that list so dev is currently selected you are into dev workspace you cannot delete it you need to switch to another one so maybe terraform workspace select and let me go to default one now i am into default if i put terraform delete dev that should work fine now yep that's deleted and if you come back here maybe that should also get deleted the tf state file that's deleted now and i'm into default i can delete anything which i have manually created maybe uat also deleted let me check list again and last is my prod i have to delete it prod and that's all if you put list again only default will be there and if you even try to delete it you will get an error yes you cannot delete it that's all for this video See you in the next video. Till then, keep exploring, keep learning. Thanks for watching this video.